percent of students have experienced some type or form of bullying in school in the past year. That's according to a survey by the Boys and Girls Club of America. Now, with World Day of Bullying Prevention happening this month, I thought it'd be a good time to bring in pediatrician Dr. Christina Johns. Dr. Johns, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Let's first start off with what does bullying look like? You look at the movies, you see kids being shoved into lockers, but times they have changed, haven't they? Indeed, we certainly see still plenty of physical bullying too with pushing and shoving and physical harm. But in addition, remember now that with uh, the digital space being so prevalent, lots of cyberbullying, online bullying, we know that um, in general, boys tend to be more of the physical bullies. Girls tend to be more verbally um, uh, involved when bullying is, is concerned. And then, of course, there is that whole world of cyberbullying. So it really takes many shapes. So what are the key indicators that we should look out for as parents that our child is being bullied? You know, I think, first of all, uh, being open to have the conversation. That is first and foremost, in the best case scenario, when a child will disclose to their parent or caregiver that something is happening at school. So make sure if that happens that you're listening and validating um, what they have to say, praising them for being courageous and sharing that. Beyond that, um, we do start to worry about children who are more withdrawn, who are more fearful of school, don't want to go to school, if they are starting to isolate from uh, friends or social situations that they previously used to engage in. Those are signs for, uh, for concern and to investigate further. Also, grades dropping. That's always one. Ooh, okay. So now I don't want to be raising a bully. So let's talk about prevention. What kind of conversation should I be having with my kids? Are there like phrases I should be dropping in during dinner time? I think that a good way to really start to um, help kids uh, prevent even going down that road is to um, help them to understand how to manage their feelings of anger, to name them, number one, and to role model uh, appropriate manifestation. We all have uh, emotions and feelings of anger. And so it's how we manage them. Talking about at home how you manage your anger feelings that don't wind up uh, involving pushing a child, pushing someone else or physical harm to another another person. Yeah, that's what all the books say. You model the behavior you want to see in your children. All right, Dr. Christina Johns with us today talking about bullying and our kids. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me.